need somebody Help. Not just anybody Help. You know I need someone Help. In An Unquiet Mind, author Kay Redfield Jameson describes going through her life with manic depressive disorder. She explains in great detail how this illness has affected her, her family, and her professional life. She was initially very reluctant to share her experiences because of the genetic predisposition of the disorder, and also because she worries about how others might view her in the professional world. This memoir not only touches on the highs and lows of this disorder, but it also gives the reader a perspective from the medical field, in that Kay was able to be more successful in treating patients because of her own experiences with psychologists and the disorder itself. This memoir was very inspiring and can give a lot of hope to people who suffer from manic depressive disorder. I was surprised by how, even after Kay learned that lithium helped control her symptoms, she refused to take it on a consistent basis. After learning about her experience going through a long depressive episode, it seemed to me that a person would do anything possible to prevent such episodes. It was also interesting to me that when asked if she would rather live without the illness, she said no. Because lithium worked for her, even though the depressive portion of the disease was dreadful and unbearable, she states, I have felt more things more deeply, had more experiences more intensely, loved more and been loved more, laughed more often for having cried more often, appreciated it and life more. It is clear that having extremely supportive family members and friends made this illness much easier for Kay to handle. She was able to rely on her mother, psychiatrist, and significant other throughout her episodes. She was able to be open with them and knew that no matter what happened, they would be there for her. Kay explained this about her mother. Her belief in seeing things through and her great ability to love and learn, listen and change, is what helped keep me alive through all of the years of pain and nightmare. Not giving up on her was the most helpful and supportive thing Kay's mother and psychiatrist could have done. People suffering from mental illness need to know that someone cares and will be there for them even in their darkest moments in order to most effectively fight their disorder. This memoir also discusses the studies being done on genomes, trying to find the specific genes that relate to manic depressive disorder. In class, we briefly discussed bipolar disorder, learning that it is one of the most common genetic related disorders, and Kay was a little reticent sharing her experience because of this, concerned that it could affect someone else in her family. She also encountered a doctor who believed she shouldn't have children because of her mental illness and its predisposing genetic factors. Kay was appalled that a doctor would suggest this to her, especially since all the people in her life were so supportive. This topic also came up in class in terms of prenatal testing. Knowing the likelihood of having a child with a disorder could affect a patient's decision to continue in the pregnancy or realize they aren't ready to take on those responsibilities. Individuals with this disorder typically first show symptoms between the ages of 15 and 19 years old, which corresponds to Kay's first attack during her senior year of high school. She went through many of the normal cues of this disorder, such as irritability, extreme highs and lows, and suicide attempts. Like many young adults suffering from mental illness, Kay was in denial and did not seek help right away. Without treatment, bipolar disorder is known to have a very high recurrence rate, especially when symptoms start at an early age. Kay began to notice intense emotions as a child, presumably from her undiagnosed bipolar disorder, leading to her future long recurring depressive episodes and intense manic ones. I would highly recommend this memoir to anyone interested in learning about what it's like to live with a mental illness, dealing with the highs and lows and overcoming the obstacles. Whether it is for a school, a profession, a friend or family member, or for oneself, this memoir can give hope to those suffering at their lowest points. As a result of her manic depressive disorder, Kay experiences a very different life from the one that she would have had without the disorder. Good and bad, but significant nonetheless. Kay shares many aspects of her life which would take a toll on anyone even without a mental disorder, but she is able to push past them and her illness and strive as a successful adult.